Welcome to an Achieving Science video. Within this video we're going to look at changes in energy and this is part two. So when you turn on an electric kettle the water gets hotter. There is now more watt energy stored in the hot water. Well the answer to this question will be there is more thermal internal energy in the hot water. Next, wood is a store of what type of energy? That is transferred to another type of energy when it is burnt. Well the answer is, wood is a store of chemical energy that is transferred to thermal energy when it is burnt. A carriage travels up to the top of a roller coaster. When the carriage reaches the highest point, it has a store of what type of energy? As it begins to travel downwards, the energy is transferred into some other form of energy. What's the answer? Well, at its highest point, it will have a store of gravitational potential energy. And as it begins to travel downwards, this energy is transferred into kinetic energy. Now let's look at an extension of a spring. And how does the force applied to a spring affect its extension? Well this is all related to Hooke's law. And Hooke's law states the extension of a spring is directly proportional to the force that is applied to it. With this then, we can draw a graph to show this relationship. As it is directly proportional, we will have a straight diagonal line, as shown on the screen. Now the question is, why will different springs have different gradients? Let's now look at elastic potential energy. The amount of elastic potential energy stored in a stretched spring can be calculated using an equation. Let's have a look at this equation then. So the equation for calculating elastic potential energy is a half or 0.5 times by the spring constant times by extension squared. In this equation, energy is measured in joules given the capital J. The spring constant is given the letter K and is measured in newtons per meter, i.e. capital N slash M. Extension, given the symbol E, is measured in meters, M. This can also be shown via the area underneath the graph that we drew before where on the x-axis we have extension and on the y-axis we have force. Again, this is directly proportional and therefore it is a straight diagonal line that we, that we draw. Now the area under the graph in this instance would be a triangle. This area is underneath the graph shows the work done by the force. Now let's look at the question. An archer draws a longbow which has a spring constant of 500 newtons per meter. This causes the string to be extended back 0.5 meters. Calculate the potential energy stored in the bow when it is drawn. When tackling the question, write out what you know from the question. So the spring constant is 500 newtons per meter. The extension is 0.5 meters. And therefore, using the equation, we find that 0.5 times by 500 times by 0.5 squared gives us the elastic potential energy, which if calculated correctly, should be 62.5 joules. <laughs> 